Welcome back to Online Darts, everyone. We're here in the Big Apple. The city doesn't sleep, and we've got the Iceman, Gezi. How excited are you about this? This is unreal here in New York. Yeah, but it's for it. I mean, uh, I didn't think I was a, was a tourist or a sightseeing person, but it's been good. I've been to watch a baseball up to the summit, up to up to the Times Square a couple of times, and you know, seeing all the players on the big screen, which I. Uh, I mean, if you told me eight years ago when I started playing darts, I'm coming to New York, I'm going to be in one of the biggest cities in the world, on the big billboards and everything, and yeah, I never thought that I'm in a million years, but I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, tomorrow night now, so not too, not too long away, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. There's a real buzz around the city. Like, we've been to Vegas to play, and it was a little bit flat, but here there's a real buzz, and people really want to see darts succeed. Yeah, I just spoke to a bloke down there now who was uh, part of the media and he seems to think that it's pretty much a sellout as well, which, which will be good. So, like you said, when we was in, in um, Las Vegas, things didn't really seem right, but uh, yeah, the, the buzz around the place, you know, in, in this meet and greet and hopefully it's going to be the same in, in the venue tomorrow night. The media you guys have had to do as well has been off the chart as well. At home you do interviews and everything, but right here it's about entertainment and putting on the show and all these medias as well. A different experience? Well, not so much of a different experience. I think we're used to it now with doing it like in, in America before and you know in Dubai and Shanghai and all this media stuff leading up to it. So yeah, it's part and parcel of it, but I'm enjoying it. Is this, this one of the strongest World Series fields you've seen as well? Because the eight from North America, We've got tour card holders in there, and we've got established players. You guys are going to have your work out. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've got seven of the Premier League players that, that are out here, so with no beans, is, you know, they're all fantastic players, and obviously Fallon as well. And I'm just glad she's on the other half of the draw. If I get a player, it's going to be in the finals, so happy days. But yes, um, not just the eight players that are out here from the from the PDC side of things, but you know the North American players as well. But like you said, one or two of them have already got tour cards, so it's going to be tough for all the boys. How are you as well? Are you in a better mental space than you were a few weeks ago? Because the Premier League mentally, we've seen from your obviously Instagram, really took it out of you. Yeah, I'm in a mental, better mental place than where I was this time last week. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy how things can change. I, I think my mental, my, my thinking changed overnight once the Premier League had finished. I woke up Friday morning and I felt refreshed straight away. But then I had a, I had a missed flight and a lot of things happened over the weekend, which took it out of me. I got to the European in, in, in uh, Holland you know, an hour before I played. So. Even though I woke up Friday feeling you know, pretty fresh, ready to play, by the time I got there, I was absolutely torn apart. But you know, I've had a week's rest, done a bit of media, but I've enjoyed New York and, and I'm ready to go. So I'm hopefully back to, my, back to my fighting best. Just touching on what you said there now, is it like a flick of that switch where the real Gezi is now here? Because these tournaments mean something. Like the Premier League, it's a, it's a road show about promoting where now the tournaments between now and the World Championships all mean something. Yeah, but I, I, I put a post out saying that I felt absolute dream with the format and everything of the, of, of the Premier League, and then you get people writing to you. I mean, it's three games, but it's not just three games, it's the travelling, it's everything that comes with it. I mean, we would play for 16 weeks uh, and we prepare for one game, which is, you know, you practice for three hours and you play for half an hour. But you know, this year, with the format being different, you, you know, you're sort of in a mental space where you've got to prepare for at least eight hours worth of darts and the travelling before, travelling after and going to pro tours and Europeans. People say, oh, it's only three games. They haven't got a clue what they're talking about. I mean, I, I, I would really... The, the dart, playing darts is, is the easiest part of this sport. It's the travelling and everything that takes it out of you. And if anybody wants to have a go, go to Q School, get your tour card, which is hard enough in itself, and then try and get into Premier League and doing the Europeans, doing the Pro Tours, and do the old circuit, then you'll understand where I'm coming from, where other players are coming from. Because you have to balance it, and it really, really is tough. The World Cup on the horizon. I know you were Amin and Arin. Are you going to play in this year's World Cup? I was debating whether to play in it or not. Obviously, I wanted to concentrate a lot more on the ranking events that are coming up. But I think I should play in it, obviously, to back up Johnny. Johnny's playing really, really well, and not only that, it's something that I'd like to do, not just for myself and Johnny, but for the country as well. So yeah, I think it's something that I really should do, even though it's not a ranking event. And But I, like I said, I've got a bit more time to myself now over the next couple of weeks. 
only through the weeks. I'm, I'm away with weekends, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that and the rest of the rest of the season. Though. Back to the darts. Obviously, you played sport at the highest level in rugby and now in darts. But going to Madison Square Garden, where we've seen some of the most iconic sportsmen, pop stars perform there, and now Gatherin Price, the lad from Arkham, is going to join that list. Can you? Is that hard to take in? And, and what's the emotions like going to be when you're walking out? Yeah, it is. Obviously, uh, Madison Square Garden. I mean. Joe Frazier and, and Muhammad Ali, people like that, you know, Elton John, the Beatles, and then someone from a little bit, little village in South Wales, up in the valley somewhere. You know, I'm walking through New York up to Times Square. Like I said, seeing, seeing myself and the rest of the PDC boys up on, on the big boards in one of the biggest cities in the world. I mean, sometimes you just have to think you're actually dreaming, give yourself a pinch, and, but yeah, it's a reality and I'm privileged and it's an honour to be out here. Thank you very much and we'll see you tomorrow at the Garden. You will do, thanks.